Gorda? Is that easy? Yes, yeah, uh, Salaman. I wonder, uh, imagine. <laughs> Welcome to Inspire for Travel. My name is Wemba Imani and today I am in Tanga City and I want to get a bus to Pangani. Now Pangani is a historic Swahili town here in Tanzania. It's around 45 kilometers away from Tanga City so what I have to do is get a bus and go there. This town Pangani definitely has a lot of history here in Tanzania and in fact there was a man by the name of Abu Shiri his real name was Sheikh Ibn Salim al hafir Now he was the leader which went up against the German resistance here in the 19th century in Tanzania. And he in fact had a plantation, a small plantation in the Pangani area here in Tanzania. So I'm going to get on a bus and really check it out. Let's see if we can find a place. It should be about hours ride on the bus or so so let's go and explore pangani if you're new to the channel be sure to consider liking sharing and subscribing to the channel by clicking on the red box below this video that says subscribe pangani town is a historic swahili settlement located on the southeast shore of tanga region tanzania the town lies 45 kilometers south of the city of tanga at the mouth of the pangani river the journey began in Tanga City. There I took a local small bus. The cost of the journey was 5,000 Tanzanian shillings one way. And although the bus was packed to capacity and legroom was non-existent, the journey was still worthwhile. The beautiful views of the African savanna and the amazing Ciso plantations on the way was certainly breathtaking.
This village is truly beautiful. This is what like the village here in Pangani looks like. Really nice, chill, calm after afternoon here. And you can see right on the right here, that's like um, sugar cane being grown. Sugar cane and behind it is like fig trees, banana trees. Assalamu alaikum. No matter how easy. Marhaba. She greeted me there, Shekamo. The youths have respect in this village, man. They see someone who is an elder to them, they greet in a respectable way. I like that when you visit a place. It's really nice when you have people that embrace the values of respect and all of that. It's really nice. It really helps, you know, in, in the development of any society, man. This is a football here in the village. Salam alaikum. So that's the goal there, made out of like sticks. And I guess it's penalty time. It's trying to score it there. The cow just there peacefully enjoying the grass right there. Wow. Border. Is that easy? Yeah, uh, Salaman. I wonder, eh, Majini? Majini? Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, Pangan. Uh, Palafari. Yeah. Uh, okay. Is happy? Uh, Happy, Twenty.
kwa sokoni ya eh? kwa sokoni eh sokoni moja What you are looking at right now is the amazing coastline of the Pangani Beach. It is certainly breathtaking. Now please bear in mind that this is actually a weekday, so there weren't many people on the beach. I pretty much had the beach to myself, so I took a nice stroll down this beach, so enjoy the views that you're seeing. There's also a local bar nearby, which you can go and enjoy some drinks if you ever happen to visit the Pangani Beach.
Stacy.